Hello everyone. In today's video, I will uh, perform adding a key to this uh, EVS 4.4 on a BMW car. The transporter used by this car it's 7935, and we will uh, we will add the key on the bench. For this operation, I will uh, use this tool, the Z bull, to pre-code and uh, program the transponder, and also to read the original key to know which number it is. So, for example, I will power up the device, turn on, place the key, wait a little bit to start. and just click on the read and identify. For me, it's very important to know this key, it's key number one. So when I read the dump from the EVS and I generate a new transponder for this uh, car, I should not place on key number one. For example, if I read the new transponder, it's a blank PCF7935 This has been said. Let's proceed with opening the EVS unit and I will use the multiprog programmer in order to read the memory of it. It's the first time when I will do with multiprog. Usually I read this type of uh, EVS with VVDI prog. I have it, uh, but I don't want to use uh, VVDI prog. So I have also as a backup. But for me, in my daily job, I try to, to switch to the multi prog all my jobs and uh, phase out the old uh, programmer. Of course, I use the MCU adapter for multiprog. I will connect it. No, I will not connect for the moment because I want to make uh, the solders and then have connected to, to the computer. What I will do, I will open the software and check the schematic for this uh, EVS unit. I know it sh I should solder on this side, if I remember correctly. But it passed some time since I did one of these. Later I will show you also the pinout and uh, the computer where I get the schematic and how, how it's working with the reading. Okay, I make some space for me. And then we need to proceed by soldering like this. I have the ground weird it's here but let me add some flux ground reset and bcc here i have a d and they have clock and x clock okay clock it's here on it's here and then the x clock it's on this resistor and i have quite some wires to solder but let's start the soldering process okay I should wait to have the proper temperature the 
but it's also a ground point taking more heat let me check if everything can be seen without problems okay I need a purple I think the purple it's BKD uh, okay it's using the the schematic really from the VVDI prog and also the colors have my could been adapted yet and then I need the VCC okay I figure out I have the VCC What I was saying, I need the green wire here. I will change the position. Okay, it's doing the job. And then I have this uh, two clock and ground. Clock it will be on this side of the capacitor and ground it will be on this side of oscillator. And let's solder ground and X clock. Okay, should be perfect. Let's not lose the blank transponder. Okay, connect the multi-probe device power up connect also the adapter and the PCB ignore the wiring like this and uh, let's switch to the computer this is the pinout used by me it's also provided by the programmer So we choose the immobilizer, we choose uh, BMW, and uh, we choose EBS4.x, and we select uh, OK. So everything is selected. Let's just uh, hit on the read button. OK. As you can see that the chip ID has been detected. It's decoding the chip. In uh, VVDI prog, most of the time was uh, failing to, to decode for the first try. Let's see if multiprog works from the first try or I need to... No? It's working from the first time, so I don't need to click on the read again. So I will click on the save. So I have OK in documents, in multiprog, in file. I make here a folder BMW EVS 4.4 keys. I open and I save the EEPROM file. Now, I have the EFI software opened. I need only to switch the cable to, to the EFI programmer. Let me see if I was able to connect. So I have it here. I will open the dump so I have it on D and this is the EEPROM I will use key number 2 not select key number 1 and just hit on transporter programming
it will take a little bit okay transporter production is successful if we go to retransponder we will see the VIN the key number 2 and the mileage right now it's uh, zero, 00 if I put the original key and retransponder we can see key number zero 01 the VIN and the mileage with this we made a transponder we don't need to write anything back to the EVS unit I will show you why if I open BMW EVS editor and I load uh, that file as you can see key 0, 1 and 2 are used and enabled so if I overwrite the key which it's already been used I don't need to write uh, back the file for example if I want to make the key number 4 or 5 then I need to write also a file back to the EVS unit now let's uh, remove the cables from the EVS and assemble back and put in the car okay we have read the EVS unit key from now I can remove it from the programmer I don't need the programmer anymore let's uh, unsolder the wires we already have this transponder program it's good I will give it a couple seconds to dry the alcohol and uh, let's see if the car is starting okay 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 and this will be the key which i will make for my customer i will put the transponder inside i will uh, program also the remote and uh, we will see if the car is starting okay EVS installed uh, let's test the new key it's an automatic car key ignition engine starts removing the key testing the old key car starts okay let's try one more time the new key and everything looks good if you like please subscribe share and see you next time